Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Silicon Devs. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to integrate an API with Discord and how to use it. So let's say a user sends a message saying he wants a quote. So the bot replies with a quote. That's how it works. And then bot gets the information from an API. So let's start. It's a client.command command and then an asynchronous function async def and then quote and then ctx which is context and then we do let's we get all the information from the api into a variable called results results is request dot get look at this i'm importing requests request is a module that's really necessary for this to work request dot get that module is required for this to work. Request.get https colon slash slash type dot fit slash api slash quotes. That's the API. And then we it's in a JSON format, so dot JSON. So I have I already have the API open in my web browser, so it's this. So in order to get the this is a quote, this is another one, this is another one and so on so in order to get the first one you have to enter into this the square bracket and then the curly brackets and then the get the content of text in order to first get into the square bracket we have to do let's say we put the content in a variable called content and then results and then zero to zero is to enter into a square bracket it's going to enter into the first square bracket so it's going to enter into this this part of the code and then we ought to get the content of text. So it's results, zero, text. And then we say await ctx.send, which is nothing but sending the message to the user. ctx.send content. Let's try it. It's only going to send the same code again and again, but let's try it. It's trying to run, and let's wait for the bot to get online. Bot is good to go, so let's go back. Let's do a quote. All right, it works. It's the same quote again and again because we put in zero, so it's only entering into the first one. If we put in one, it's going to enter into the second one. If we put into two, the third one, and so on. Instead, we could do this. First, we import random. Import random. And then we could do this number is random dot randint which is nothing but randomizing from a list of from 1 to 1500 and then we put in the number here so here what's happening is that it's, it randomizes the number between 1 and 1500 and then puts that in so let's say the number we get is 5 it's going to go into the fifth one and get the fifth quote if we if the number is 6 it's going to go into the sixth one and get the sixth quote so that's how it's working so let's run it now and try Bot is good to go, so let's try it. Quote. Alright, it's different code every time. It seems to work fine. That's all for today, guys. Let's come back and let's meet in our next video. See you. Bye.